Can you guys believe I paid almost a hundred dollars for this haircut? <laughs> All right, guys. Um, it's been a couple months since I've posted anything to this channel. Um, and I'll explain uh, basically the whole story, um, why I i haven't really been as active as I should be, but there are a lot of great things coming, um, hopefully, you know, within this month, right? Um, and a lot of great programs that I've been working on that I, I'm just very excited to execute, uh, you know, run, run these programs concurrent with a consulting program and uh, move forward. Right. I've been working on this for the last few months. Um, things have been moving a little slow. Um, and uh, most of it was for uh, a health reason. And uh, before I get into that, right now, guys, is the best time to get into marketing. Um, the industry is, you know, the markets are finally looking up a little bit. Right. Um, you know, people are starting to get back out there more. People are feeling a little bit, a little bit more confident. Uh, restrictions are, are, are getting lowered. We had vaccines out. So all in all, the economy is moving forward. Uh, but the thing is, this COVID-19, you know, pandemic has made a lot of the small local businesses understand that they need to go digital, right? Their, their clients are going to be online. And it's sped everything up for, you know, about three years. So if you think about it, if you don't have right now an, a process to acquire clients, manage them all within the platform, right? Text, email, follow up, uh, um, you're behind, right? You need to be able to acquire, convert and get returning customers all within the platform, right? You choose whatever platform works best for you. Um, we provide that platform for you um, uh, within our own company, uh, but if you don't have these systems, it's going to be really hard for you to scale. Uh, if scaling is something that you have in mind, right? If you want to stay local, you know, word of mouth, guerrilla marketing, have a huge blow up balloon, right? Pass off flyers and stay local. That's fine. But if you want to scale quickly and acquire as many clients as you can while targeting the exact services that make you the most money, um, you got to go online. Uh, there's no other way around it, right? Um, it's by far the best way. You get the highest ROI, quickest amount of time, right? So currently, guys, I'm working on uh, within the auto industry, a program that is made for the body shop, the repair shop, and the dealerships. Um, like I've said before, my family's in the industry. I have a lot of connections within the industry. I myself, uh, right now, one of the one of the new topics that have been coming up is whether should I run my own dealership, right? I, I understand marketing so well, I can move these things. So why not just run my own dealership? Uh, my family, we have, you know, within the family, we have dealerships. Um, within the family, we have repair shops, we have body shops. Um, so here in Dallas, I, I just understand it's a well group around it. Um, and from, from being here, you know, I've been able to create this program. Now, in the last three to four months, I wanted to get into the medical space, which is highly, you know, profitable. There's actually less, if not about the same amount of work in terms of marketing, SEO, um, and, you know, time, right? Which is a, a huge resource. Using people or their time to provide the service, um, it could be a higher ROI for, you know, within the agency. Uh, but one of the things that I keep having to learn is to choose partners well. And guys, partnerships are relationships, just like a girlfriend, right? Some work out, some don't. Um, and if you get lucky, it might work out. But if you don't know your partner that well, within a year or two, you see differences and then there's a buyout, right? Or someone leaves uh, or the company dissolves. And this is something that I've had to struggle with, understanding uh, how to partner with people and how to uh, find the right partners to uh, create the best services for our clients. Um, and right now, I'm actually in the process of, of uh, building this new program. Um, the, um, the agency that I've been on, that I've helped build, 
Um, I'm currently um, selling that and that's okay. We're still going to be working together. Uh, we're partners no matter what, but uh, we feel like it's going to be a way better for us to focus our complete attention within the RM programs. And that's fine, guys. That's the best way to do it, right? That's how you scale and grow. Uh, and having complete control of your program, right? Which is what matters. So now back to why I haven't been posting. Uh, back in, in February, towards the end of, of February, in the beginning of March, I had gone to Florida. Uh, I went down to Tampa, uh, St. Pete's, had a great time. And when I came back, I got sick and I didn't really know what it was. It hit me really quickly. Um, and it turned out that it was COVID. So I was COVID positive. I had already spent the, about a week in vacation. And the week prior to that, I was, uh, Texas was shut down. There was a, an ice store. And I, I had to take two weeks off from working and then I was still sick. I was having lung uh, breathing problems with my lungs. And uh, I had to take another two weeks off. So all in all, I spent about seven weeks off work. And within that time, I couldn't really do much. Um, even this website that I'm currently showing, it's the same website that we've had since I since I built it, right? And this is actually, um, this is just like a showcase website uh, for the program that I'm gonna be opening in the auto industry. This is not gonna be the final website. Um, I'm actually gonna keep this as a secondary site. It's gonna be a primary site. Um, I was just testing different styles and, and designs to see what works. Turns out for the auto industry, having these nice fluffy designs is not the best way to go about it. So I'm gonna actually gonna be moving forward from this. So I'm doing a lot better now, guys. Uh, I feel a lot I feel a lot healthier. Uh, I'm gonna start working on loosening some of that weight. But yeah, uh, seven weeks off was tough for me. Uh, be, having to step away and having to let other people take control um, was really hard. Um, and uh, being being positive with COVID. You know, I, thankfully, I don't think I was that sick, but uh, my doctors wanted me to stay. They wanted me to stay to take 12 weeks off, and I just couldn't do that. I had to get back to work. Uh, being being in, at home in bed for four, four to five weeks is more than enough time for me. Uh, it, I was starting to go a little crazy, right? But I did take the time to, you know, focus on myself. Um, you know, I watched a lot of TV. Uh, you know, I read up a lot, I studied a lot and, and just, uh, focused on myself, right. Um, you know, read some books on, on how to effectively provide the proper services to clients and how to, you know, be a better leader, which is really what this is all about, right. Becoming a better leader and giving back to the people that I love. So thank you guys for being understanding. Um, Right now, there's a lot of things that I'm working on. I I hired a couple lawyers, um, so my lawyers are. I'm trying to get into real estate. Um, I just want to make sure I have all the proper licensing, all the pro proper uh, paperwork to move forward with that. So within the end, end of the month, um, finally after four and a half years, guys, after four and a half years, I am going to be able to practice real estate, um, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm really good at the marketing game, right? Advertising is my thing. I don't promote it out as much as I, I should, you know, I, I'm not much of a social media guy, right? If you go to my social media accounts, I don't have 20, 30,000 followers. Um, you don't have to have a big following to make money online, right? All you need is a good funnel, some advertising money and a way to, um, capture and, uh, convert those leads into sales. So if you have those three things, you can make all the money in the world. And one thing I realized is by opening my own businesses within the auto industry and within real estate, I can make, you know, other channels that are going to make me as much or more money than, you know, within the agency space. Um, just because I know how to do this stuff. I do it for the clients when I do it for myself. So, um, yeah, guys, very excited going into the auto industry myself. And then I'm very excited to open this pro uh, this program up, full service, um, plus consulting. You get your own software, right? You get to see your leads. 
you, we get to convert those leads for you. Um, and yeah, it's a perfect program. I think you guys will love it. Um, we're going to have a lot of content, a lot of branding, we're getting a new office. Uh, we're going to have um, our logos cut out in steel. We're going to have uh, banners put up, um, polos shipped for the whole team. Um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be a fun project. So I'm very excited to, to be doing this, to be going forward. Uh, after all these months of, of just planning. So thank you guys for watching this video. Stay safe. Um, and yeah, see you soon.